Dear children, I would like to present you such a beautiful country, Qatar. Salam alaikum, Qatar. Qatar lies in the Middle East and the country is located on the Asian continent. This beautiful country, it is a peninsula in the Persian Gulf and shares only one short land border, 87 kilometers, with Saudi Arabia that lays to the south of Qatar. So Qatar can be reached via land from Saudi Arabia or otherwise via sea and air. The national airline is Qatar Airways and is one of the largest and luxurious airlines in the world. Always it is a joy. Everyone is happy when he has a plane ticket to Qatar Airways. The Qatar Airways logo includes the head of Oryx, the national animal of Qatar. Qatar is an emirate, which means it is ruled by the Emir of Qatar. The country is ruled by the Al Thani family. Emir of Qatar, Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, rules the country since, since 2013. The Sharia law is followed in Qatar. This is a religious law which partly follows the Islam traditions. Of course, the language of Qatar is Arabic. English is the second most spoken language in the country. The name Qatar was first used by the Roman writer Pliny the Elder and referred to the inhabitants of the region called it Qatara. Children, the beauty is where we want to see it and beauty has different forms. Definitely the desert is beautiful 
and its sandstorms can be a real spectacle. Qatar is a desert country bordering Saudi Arabia on the Arab Peninsula. The country is mostly flat and the landscape is barren and dry. The highest point of Qatar is located in the south of the country. The peak is called Karim Abu Al Bowl and reaches 103 meters in high. Qatar has a dry desert climate and temperatures can easily reach more than 14 degrees in summer. Even though Qatar seems like a place that doesn't allow too many animal species to exist, there are quite a few that find their permanent home here and or resin in the warm winter months in Qatar. Most of these animals are rather rare and shy. Arabian oryx this beauty is a small antelope and a proud national animal of Qatar, the falcon. In Qatar, there are six different kinds of falcons. The falcon is a very important bird in Qatar as it had been used as a hunting tool because of its sharp eyesight and it is associated with being noble and wealthy. Desert Hedgehog This little cutie also lives in the desert. There is only limited natural water supply and thus there is not much agriculture or crop farming possible. Only 5% of the lands is used for agriculture such as for date palm plantations. Qatar, however, is a very very rich country due to its mineral resources such as oil and natural gas. Qatar has the third largest natural gas reserves in the world after Russia and Iran. Qatar is rich in oil and gas but the power of this country lies in the work, hard work, day by day work. Qatari people work a lot, they invest in education, they invest in research, they have developed new technologies, they focus a lot on innovation, but most importantly, they invest in people. People are the most important reserve of this country and any country. For these reasons, and mainly due to the work, Qatar is the richest country in the world. In fact, the people in Qatar are the richest in the world. About 14% of the Qatari are millionaires. It is a rumor in Qatar each family has a Ferrari in the garage. You can believe that.
Capital city of Qatar, it's Doha. Doha, the capital of Qatar, once was a fishing village where pearl fishers were looking for their fortunes and also a famous center for horse and camel breeding. Qatar was a popular stop with traders exploring and shipping goods from India and China. After World War I, Qatar become a British protectorate in 1916. The country only gained independence from British rule in 1971. Now, Doha is a spectacular city, modern, full of lights, with such beautiful buildings that almost touch the sky. You can admire the sea from the most beautiful Cornish walkway in Doha where many families go for a stroll on the weekends. And also, did you know that the news agency Al Jazeera has its quarter in Doha?
Emirate on the Persian Gulf has many attractions for the whole family to visit. Among the most popular are Souk Wakaf, visit Doha's main and very picturesque marketplace. Take a cruise on Doha, traditional sailing Qatar ship. Take a stroll in Doha's Corniche Park, see below, or visit the National Museum of Qatar, which is situated in a very futuristic building. The National Museum of Islamic Art, which is the largest of its kind in the world, has been designed by Pei, the architect who also designed the Louvre Pyramid. Other interesting places for families are the Floating Museum, which exhibits about the history of Qatar and the Kingdom of Aladdin, also call it Entertainment City and Amusement Park for Families. Go on a desert adventure with camels or join a desert safari. It is also popular to watch a camel race. Popular Qatari food includes much booze, spiced rice with meat or seafood. This typical Arabian dish is also often referred to as kabza, uzi, roasted lamb with spiced rice, um ali, bread pudding made with custard and nuts, lukwaimat, sweet syrupy fried doubles. Typical eating during Ramadan. The most popular sports in the country of Qatar are soccer, handball, and tennis. And don't forget, Qatar Soccer World Cup in 2022 is still set to take place in this Middle Eastern country. Qatar is number one country in the world, financially, Mubarak, 
But Qatar has chosen to share these gifts from God with other countries and peoples, has chosen to help, has chosen the path of peace, of nobility, of brotherly love. Indeed, Qatar, you are a very rich country in the world, but before money, you are rich in love for people. You Qatari people have such a warm soul, kind heart. Immediately you are ready to help other peoples and countries. You are a successful example for all of us. God with you, Qatar. Salam alaikum, Qatar.